London 2012 was meant to be the cleanest Olympics ever. But today, an explosive report concludes the Games were sabotaged by Russian athletes with highly suspicious drug test results, while the world governing body for athletics inexplicably did nothing. Only last year, when Russia hosted the Winter Olympics, the authorities boasted they'd run the biggest ever clampdown on drug cheats and a record number had been caught. The reality couldn't be more different. The investigation has exposed that Russia is effectively running a state-sponsored doping program. All of this could not have happened and continued to happen without the knowledge of and, and either actual or implied consent of the, uh, of the state authorities. It, they were not operating sport, but, but as I say, they would certainly have known and, and could not not have known. The world governing body for athletics, the IAAF, also came under scrutiny. Those findings weren't published today because they've been passed to the police in several countries. Last week, French detectives arrested the IAAF's former president, Lamine Diak, seen here with his successor, Lord Coe. It's alleged Diak received a million euro for covering up the Russian doping. So with the IAAF mired in corruption claims, the whole sport is in crisis, according to the former 400-metre world champion, Roger Black. I've always assumed that the governing body of the sport have are there to govern the sport and to protect the innocent athlete, uh, the majority. The, what's happening now is that revelations are coming out that, that are saying that maybe the, the people at the very, very top have been covering up. The Russian sports minister has been swift to deny all the allegations. So what are the prospects for a clean Olympics in Brazil in 2016? The investigators are recommending Russia should be banned from competing there. Lord Coe says he will look into sanctions and Rio without the Russians isn't ruled out. But Javelin Olympic medalist Steve Backley says the Russians should be given a chance first. I think athletes need to be tested, ab absolutely interrogated to make sure that the, the team and the individuals within it are clean. But I would rather see them in, in Rio have a chance to make amends, move forward and, and enter a new era. To be crowned the best in the world takes superhuman effort. And sadly, athletics has often been shamed by individuals using drugs to achieve that. Now, national and international authorities who are supposed to police the cheats are in the dock.